Hi there. Welcome to Physics 1. This is Chapter 2, Motion in One Dimension, and we're looking at Section 1, which is dealing with average velocity and displacement. So what I'd like to do is just kind of run through a sample problem and kind of do an overview of what I would expect to see on our practice problems or the exams when we work through certain problems. So, uh, we've got this sample problem here. So the fastest fish, which is the sailfish, can swim 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour, or we could rewrite that as 1,200 kilometers per hour. We like to use the scientific notation quite a bit, so you'll see that often. Kilometers per hour. Um, and suppose we have a friend who lives on an island that's 16 kilometers away from shore. And if we were to send that friend a message using that sailfish as a messenger, so yes, messenger sailfish, <laughs> see how that works out. Uh, how long will it take for the message to reach your friend? So I uh, would like to point out one thing before we get started here. Uh, often what we'll find is we've got some sample problems, and sometimes they'll have information in there that... Uh, is really not that important or not that pertinent so obviously uh, sending a message uh, via sailfish probably not the most efficient way to send a message but um, setting aside all this fluff we'll call there's extra things in this problem that we really don't need so setting that aside uh, we can just kind of omit some of these things that we really don't need. So we've got this um, speed here, this 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. We've got a distance, 16 kilometers away. And we want to know how long it would take for that message to reach your friend. So when we are given a problem, a couple things we want to do right off is just list the givens list what it is we have given so we've got the speed is 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour and we've got a distance and we're dealing with one dimensional distance here so I would like to see us using uh, x y notation for distance. Uh, you might have been used to using D in other courses and I did use V up here for speed. Uh, typically with speed, uh, with velocity we'd like to know a direction. Um, but on this problem speed and velocity are going to be exactly the same. But because we're one dimensional this motion that we're looking at here is one dimensional we're going to just say okay we're in the X direction which is 16 kilometers away. We also want to list what we want to find. So what is it we're looking for? And we're looking for how long, so we're looking for a time. And it doesn't really specify the units for time either. So notice right now our units, kilometers per hour, time will end up being in hours. What we'll find for this particular problem, though, uh, hours really is kind of hard to conceptualize here. So uh, what I'm going to do is have us convert to minutes because it fits a little bit easier. Even though most problems that we'll be doing, we usually stick with distance in meters, time in seconds. So just keep that in mind as well. So we've listed our givens, list of what we want to find. Uh, what we'd like to also see, I know these problems are extremely easy, uh, we'd like to see some kind of picture. So my um, ill attempt at a fish. So we have the fish and he's swimming in a direction towards an island. So we've got an island here. Our friends on the island. So 
So we've got this message that's going to our friend. We've got this distance here. It says x direction at 16 kilometers. Oops. Sorry, 16. And he's traveling at a speed of 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. I know for this particular problem, these pictures probably don't make much sense, but it is good to just start practicing putting some pictures in. The uh, next thing we want to do is write down a formula that we can incorporate these three variables into, and, and it's not always going to work out that way, but we, what we need to find is a formula that will fit most of our givens and maybe find something that can gradually get us to what we, it is we truly want to find. So we only have one formula so far in chapter 2 section 1. It's the speed formula so we're going to be using uh, velocity notation so uh, speed equals or velocity equals distance divided by time. I'm going to use another notation here. I'm going to use a little triangle. This indicates that I have a change. It is the Greek letter delta. So distance divided by time gives me this velocity. So I just plug in my givens here. Delta x or x, 16 kilometers. And my v is 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. What I need to do is find time. So I'm finding time. I have to rearrange my equation to solve for time. So my delta t or change in time is going to equal to 16 kilometers divided by my 1.2 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. When I divide, the kilometers is going to cancel out. Time-wise, I'll be left with 0 0.13 hours. And because this is in a decimal form, uh, it turns out to work out a lot nicer if I convert hours to minutes. So what I'm doing here is just putting in my notation uh, to convert from hours to minutes. It turns out my original number, um, because I only had two significant figures here in my given information, if I left it in hours it would be 0.13, but because I'm going out to minutes, if I look back at the original 16 divided by 1200 kilometers per hour, this was repeating, which actually gives me a nice clean number to deal with here. So I end up with 8 minutes. And then I can go further and multiply by another 60 to get seconds if I wanted to have the second notation. So my answer times 60 seconds gives me about 480 seconds. But again, we have significant figures to deal with. So our zero is not going to be very useful here. Sorry, my screen ran away from me. So 480 will actually become 4.8 times 10 to the second seconds. So when you're working out these problems, you want to be careful of what units you're given and do any necessary conversions such as 
kilometers to meters or hours to seconds or minutes depending on what you're what you're wanting to find